Hey guys, what's up? It's Will Patterson and this is a new video. It is a different sort of room. I am sat down as well, which is slightly different to what I normally do. But today I wanted to talk about small beginnings. For the majority of my life, I basically lived in this room. And by living, I meant like, you know, sleeping every day, not just like, you know, I have, my parents didn't lock me up or anything in here. Wow, that could have been awkward. But for the majority of my life, I lived in this room and uh, my computer was where you are now and I used to do videos here and this is where I started YouTube and this is where I started doing design work by myself. I was thinking about a video that I could uh, bring out to you guys that's sort of heartfelt and for the people that are starting to become a designer or people with the hopes and aspirations of becoming a designer but they're not too sure if they're going in the right direction or not. Basically I know exactly what it's like to be a bit nervous, a bit anxious about uh, starting uh, your own career, being a freelancer or going to university for design. I know what it's like, it seems really scary and it is scary because that's what it is, it's just scary. So I wanted to put your mind at rest. From the age of like not all the way up to I think it was 20 or 19, I lived in this room and this was my office for a while and I slept in here. And then I moved out. Now I'm a full-time logo designer, but it wasn't always that way. You know, I did a business administration vocation in my college, and that's because I felt like there was nothing uh, that I could do apart from, like, you know, I was interested in being my own businessman or being someone who worked for themselves. And, you know, I never really thought about graphic design before that or during that, but I went and did a... Um, a qualification in that for two years and it was supposed to be a three-year course but I dropped out on the second year. I was like 17 or 18 and I said after college that I'm just going to go ahead and be uh, learn graphic design and become one. You know I didn't do too well at school, I didn't get many GCSEs or anything so I don't have many qualifications but I knew that if I wanted to do something uh, then I could do it if I put my mind to it and you know it was an impossible task and that's one reason like you know I'm a Christian so I knew that, uh, that God put the design in my heart uh, to do that but what I did was I kept on going I kept on practicing drawing I kept on learning illustrator I would sit on my computer for hours um, learning that the theory behind graphic design and looking at other people's work and I spent forever getting critiqued on my work you know my work wasn't always good obviously no one's work is always good anyway but you know I, I spent um, a good chunk of my time learning illustrator and learning how it all worked so where I'm at now is like because of what I put into it. I hope you understand this video. It's a bit different because I wanted to get you guys to understand that your success in, in this business or in any creative business, especially if you want to be a freelancer or, or a designer or whatever, then you've got to put the work and the effort into it. Don't expect it to come straight away because it probably won't. But if you work at it and you uh, put it as a high priority and you stop fooling around and you stop blaming other people and you stop like looking towards other people uh, to get to where you need to be and you focus it on yourself and you learn yourself maybe just in your bedroom or maybe reading the books or going to someone who is a designer and speaking to them um, and treating them with respect as well and you will get somewhere. I didn't th ever think that I'd be a designer when I was younger. I didn't think I could draw, I didn't think I could do anything but it just goes to show that if you want to do something you can put your mind to it and you can do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it encouraging. It was It's mainly me telling you that if if you're getting second thoughts or fears about doing what you're doing now, then don't give up, just stick at it. Look for people around you that will support you through the hard times. You may not be making money yet, but don't let money be a master in this. It's not about the money. Well, it sort of is sometimes, but you know, don't let money be a master. If you wanna do this job and you wanna uh, become a designer, a logo designer or something creative in the field of the creative field, I said that one wrong then you can. Don't let money be a master. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat on the description below and also comment your worst fear of becoming a freelance designer or wherever you want to be. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit.